throw me the gear here so it can be. Yeah, yes. the Portland Thorns. That's what I'm talking about. They return into action tonight in front of a crowd for the first time in months. And those fans bring big business to the bars and the restaurants all around Providence Park. But this shift in risk category that took effect today in Multnomah County means now they can only fill to 25% capacity. Lindsay Nadrich talked to bar owners in the area about all this and how this really impacts their bottom lines. Lindsay? Well, business owners have been waiting for game days to return, so to have restrictions tighten on a day they are expecting to see more customers is disappointing. For some, the highly anticipated game day boom is now a bust. I was excited, and I'm not excited anymore. How's it going? Amy Nichols has owned the cheerful bullpen for 12 years. But between COVID and what's been going on in downtown Portland with homeless camps and other issues, she's ready to get out. It's been awful. I do not want to be downtown anymore. So once this opens up and it gets back, I intend to sell immediately. I do not want to be downtown Portland anymore. Amy says they had to convert part of the bar into a store just to survive. They stocked up on food and scheduled more employees to prepare for the crowd a Thorns game typically brings in. But now, because of the limited indoor dining capacity, they can only have 20 people. So we now have overstock of food. I had to call off multiple staff. Um, so now more employees have are, don't have employment tonight because of it. So. It's just one more kick in the stomach. <laughs> the Goose Hollow Inn also typically sees a lot of Thorns fans come in on game day. Their indoor dining isn't open yet, but they do have a large outdoor area, and the new restrictions mean instead of 100 people, they can only have 75. I'm not surprised. I'm just a little disappointed. I honestly, I don't think that our reduction of 25 people out here is going to make that big of a difference. Um, in terms of the safety protocols. Manager Rachel Clark says losing that many customers on game day can really impact their bottom line, especially after a year that's been so tough. The sunny weather and the games really help a lot, so we're hoping that we can make up for some lost ground from this winter. Well, the Goose Hollow Inn figured out they were closed for about a third of the year, so it's been tough. They really hope people continue to follow COVID restrictions so they can increase their capacity again soon. Governor Brown today, though, said we need to get, need to get the spread of those COVID variants under control before she eases restrictions. Reporting live on Lindsay Natterch, Point Six News.